Hi, I'm Ken Milstead from Yale University. I'm the co-chair of the SCDM eSource Implementation Consortium representing academia. And we're here today to talk to you about an update on our activities and to invite you to join us. I'd start with a disclaimer that not all the views expressed in this presentation may be those of the individual companies or entities for which the presenters or attendees are employed or affiliated. The presenters' employers do not guarantee the accuracy or reliability of the information provided herein. So our objectives today are to bring awareness of the SCDM eSource Implementation Consortium and our activities. We're going to talk about our vision, our mission, our organization, and activities, and present opportunities that you can be a part of our team and how to do that. So I'm going to start with an introduction to the consortium. Uh, the consortium is a group of leading biopharmaceutical companies, academic medical centers, and healthcare technology providers who partner to create a consortium to help us advance eSource. Uh, the plan is to enable faster and more efficient digital exchange of clinical research source data from academic medical sites to industry sponsored using EHR, EDC, and CDMS systems. And our purpose is to streamline existing data transfer per processes to free up site staff to focus on working with patients. Our mission is to agree on standardization of clinical research data sets that will enable faster adoption of direct data transfers by academic sites and industry sponsors. And we're implementing this mission using existing clinical research standards of HL7 FHIR wherever we can, rather than implementing new standards. The consortium is a forum for learning about initiatives of other societies and organizations in participating in collaborations with other organizations and with each other and with eSource projects, in sharing lessons learned, in publishing white papers to recommend eSource implementation best practices, and providing input into industry initiatives such as Vulcan. Our membership consists of a steering committee, which has sites and sponsor representatives, as well as at-large members, as well as general members. And the consortium is open to general membership by anyone and by invitation for steering committee membership. Our organization is uh, as follows. We have a facilitator, Linda King, from SCTM, as well as a project manager who assists us. We have two co-chairs, myself for academia and Amy Kramer from Pfizer for Pharma. And then we're organized into two larger teams, People in Communication, led by Shannon Rosnowski from Invara, who works on communications such as this one, publications, conferences, and technology and standards team, which currently has the lead position open, who's working on implementation standards. My name is Shannon Rosnowski. I'm a director of product management at Advara, and I'm here to talk a little bit more about the eSource Implementation Consortium, the projects we work on, and how to participate. At its heart, the SCDM eSource Implementation Consortium is about collaboration. We're focused on bringing together stakeholders from diverse organizations, including sites, sponsors, standard organizations, and technology vendors to participate in pilot projects and share best practices for implementing research standards. Whenever possible, we use existing research standards such as HL7 FHIR um, and CDISC standards. One of our first project deliverables was the publication of direct data extraction of lab data uh, by MSK, Lilly, and Novartis. Uh, we have many open opportunities for projects, including uh, a local lab project. This is demonstrating the use of FHIR to move local lab data from EHR systems to sponsor data systems. Another opportunity is participation in the HL7 Vulcan Fire Accelerator Project. 
through SCDM, which is a member of Vulcan, it is possible to participate in steering committee, operation committee, and also individual project teams supporting the standardizing of reporting and the format of domains to advance the maturity of fire resources for clinical research. Some projects that the Vulcan team is working on include adverse events, real world data, schedule of activities, and others. Another exciting opportunity in the eSource Implementation Consortium is participation on the Rural World Data Project uh, being run through the University of Texas Health Sciences Center of San Antonio. This is a long-term project to scientifically prove out the quality of EHR data and the use of EHR data as e-source within clinical research. Another opportunity is to be involved with the publication of journal articles uh, white and white papers and other resources available to the community. This is an example of the table of contents for an e-source playbook that the eSource Implementation Consortium is working on currently. And there are many openings to participate in this project. As you can see, there are many activities happening within the SCDM eSource Implementation Consortium. One way that you can keep up to date with these activities is via the monthly eSource operation meetings. This, these meetings are held on the first Friday of each month and last an hour. In these meetings, uh, team members provide updates on current projects, publications, and provide presentations um, and share best practices um, on various topics related to eSource. Notes from those meetings are also published on the SCDM uh, website. If you are interested in joining the SCDM eSource Implementation Consortium, you can go to the scdm.org slash volunteer website and click the apply now button. And one of our team members will reach out to you with more information on how to participate. There is no cost uh, to participate. Uh, SCDM membership is not required, but is highly suggested. If you have any additional questions about the consortium and how to participate, feel free to reach out to any one of our uh, team members and committee chairs. Thank you.